Don't forget to put a call to action on the end of your YouTube videos. Hello, Amy's Tribe and SSS Veda video participants. It is Friday, August 18th, only a couple weeks left of the challenge. I've been posting videos for the challenge about YouTube advice for beginner YouTubers by a beginner YouTuber. And one thing Amy always talks about in her videos is ensuring that there is a call to action after the content of your video. So a call to action can look uh, a multitude of ways. It can be a call to subscribe to your YouTube channel, which is an obvious fit, or it can be a call to do something else on one of your other platforms. So for example, if you have a blog and you would like people to subscribe to your email newsletter, you, your call to action will be to direct them to your blog so that they can subscribe there. Your call to action could potentially also be to another social media platform like a Facebook group or an Instagram profile. So these are all call to action and Amy's advice is to put those calls after the content of your video. Uh, so I will do that right now. I actually have a blog. So if you go to productivitypantry.com, you can sign up for my newsletter where I have tips and tricks about productivity and time management. That is my beginner YouTube tip advice for the day, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.